let me just wait a second so okay welcome to another edition of pse 2020 so we've done the challenges so far and all the challenges we've done so far we've completed so for example we got arsenal to win the premiership and they were unbeaten we did qpr and got them promoted we got man united to win the premiership win the champions league win the europa cup so now is the new challenge is the brexit challenge so i've always want to ask myself the question what would happen if you had an england team playing in the premiership it's always been a question so now i'm going to find out what would happen if i had an english team playing in the premiership like a complete english side so we're going to use the excuse of brexit challenge that's what exactly what it'll be so that's exactly what it'll be so we're just gonna cheer this out okay so what we're doing is you call it the brexit challenge or you can call it the england challenge whichever you want to call it um, So now what I've got to decide is which team am I going to go to to have this Brexit challenge. Which team is it going to be? So at first I was thinking maybe using uh, an English team in the Premiership or the Championship. I don't know. I think I'm honestly thinking the Premiership. Is the way forward <laughs> championship we've done before and it's going to take a couple of years to become champions of Europe I think but I have to pick an English side I haven't decided what English side I'm going to pick yet I did say before the challenge would be at West Ham because I think West Ham had a really great side back in the day and well Arsenal yeah maybe or Brighton my home team so Brighton could be a possibility and then there's West Ham they've got the money West Ham they've got the players but I think Brighton playing the Ch Premiership would be great and Champions League would be fantastic and they'd have some sort of funding and they've got some English players there already. So I'm going to go to Brighton. And obviously... I'm going to go back and manage again. But this time... I'm going to wear so there we go get that sorted there so good stop Good evening to anybody who's just joined us. So this is the Brexit challenge. And I was going to take on West Ham. But. Yes King James. The problem with the. The. Uh, the West Ham thing is where people say. Oh well you know West Ham. They've been in the premiership for a long time anyway. Blah de blah de blah. And considering I live by the sea anyway. Brighton Hope should be the right club now. Let's see transfer frequency difficulty normal starting budget normal. Well, if I'm going to rebuild, 
and just have a pure England side? Should it be a normal transfer budget? Or should I have a fairly large budget? Or large budget? I don't know. Normal budget? Let's say a fairly large budget. Well done. Excellent stuff. So should I have a fairly large budget or should I have a large budget? Well done, Man United. Match time's only five minutes. Good evening, now. I'm doing the Brexit challenge tonight. I'm glad you're in the room. Can I ask you a question, now? Do you think if I'm going to do this this budget, do you think, like, for the transfer budget for this, do you think I should have a big budget, Niall? Or do you think I should have a small budget? What do you think? Like, I could have a really large budget or could have a, la a fairly large budget. It's Brighton and Hove Albion. I'm looking to build this team to be only English players. So what do you think? A fairly large budget? A large budget? Or just a normal budget? What do you think? I think I'll go with a fairly large budget. Considering they've been in the Premiership for a few years now. Very sad how Arsenal have done this season. Diminished. No, it's not. What do you think? It's George Michael. The Niles in the room all the time. No, fairly large budget. Okay. Right. So I've chosen to go to Brighton and Hove. I think they'll announce me as manager and I'll get to work in getting rid of all the non-English players. So it's going to be an English side. Even if I have to bring here, I come to the club now. Back to my home club of Brighton and Hove. It's going to be fun. You know, doing this challenge as Brighton and Hove manager. So we're looking at some of the players at the club. So it's going to be a completely English side. So anybody who's non-English will not play. It's as simple as that. The whole aim is to build an England team from this, this set of players. Either past or current England players playing at this Brighton Hove team. So anybody who's non-English doesn't play. So, you know, got the likes of Sturridge could play for this side. Um... So you've got an, enough to bring in some English players, but then you can still work on the on your youth and make it a bit more entertaining for you. See objectives. I think for me, my challenge would be to get us into Europe. Top half the league. I want us to finish top half the league, especially the 13th or higher. In order to achieve this, we're going to need to focus the efforts and strengthen the squad this season. So I just don't know, if I'm honest, how strong I'm going to make this team in the first season. I see it seems a rather mod mod modest objective fiction. Well, objective, I know you're saying the modest objective, but I'm with Brighton, I hope it'll be, I don't know to read the strength of this side. And to be honest, you know, this is not Arsenal, you don't have a, you know, it's not a big budget. Why you choose peasants instead of FIFA? Because this is better than FIFA. FIFA's terrible. Makes you feel more at home. Can I change your appointment? <laughs> How you adopt a small budget? Yeah, it is. Good evening. Money isn't everything. Not mad. I've had more fun playing this. Pez 2020 
Then I have done playing FIFA, FIFA 19 going back. This is really good. Because this is management mode. That's the reason why I play PES. You don't have a management mode on FIFA that works. I don't control... Uh, I've just basically taken over my hometown. Which is where I live now. More, more or less Brighton. Although I'm a Londoner. Um, what style of football you play? Hard football. You should do. It's much better than FIFA. If they can make this game have the statistics of a football, a football manager, they'd make the complete football experience. And I think them not having sound is a good thing as well. So let's get to work. Okay. Let's see how much we've got in the bank to work with first and foremost. So basically I'm building an England, I'm building a, a team with non uh anybody who's not um english or from the uk gets booted out the club is brexit so that's the plan this squad of players it's true so you can still control your players on this um like on fifa i can still play the game like normal with controllers and play like how you would on fifa but the beautiful thing about this is this coach mode so basically you allow the squad uh, you just pick the players and then the, the computer actually does it. So it's like management, you know? So I think this is much better than FIFA. Whereas FIFA, if you try and do that, the controllers, it don't work. That's why I love this game so much. That's why I think... This is where I think FIFA have lost out. FIFA's got the graphics and they've got the Champions League and stuff. But the thing that loses it for me with FIFA is that if this, this particular mode they've got here, coach mode. And I can build my own squad as well. There's so many options on this. Become a legend. So many options. So yeah. Right. So let's look at this squad and see what we've got. First we, I guess we should look at the budget. Normally I've had big budgets before to work with. And I've been criticised by Mr. Kenny. That I can't even work with big budgets. So. No transfer fee. Hmm. Well let's see here. I think we'll have to sell players first of all. Let's don't know if it's gonna I don't know how this is all gonna work now guys and girls so let's see let's look at the team um, um, let's see well my toy is not English he can go I think Ryan's English Australian He can go. He's not English. We'll go. Toy has gone. Not English players. Proper. It might be a case of finding a lot of free players. Germany. I decided to go with Brighton in the end. Because people would criticise him and say, Oh, well, it's easy West Ham. Why all the none english away because it's brexit challenge i guess you didn't read this is the brexit challenge so all the non-english players i'm trying to build an england team i always want to ask the question if you had a nash if you had an england team a national side what would happen if you had a national england side playing in the premiership what would that look like and could it win the Champions League British players yeah that's better British players good good point there Prince so what would it look like and the other thing is could it could it win a Champions League an all English side could it win a Champions League And it had to be English. Have to be English. Can't have um, Irish players inside. It doesn't count. Have to be English. I say that by saying you have to be able to play for the England England national squad. Let's 
So there's a lot of players there that I've put on sale. Now, my advanced search will be... I'm going to look for free... I'm going to go on the free market. Because that's where I think I'll start first. Oh, we've got 193 million. That's not bad. But I'm going to go free first. Any free English players? But I'm not going to get any English free players. That Rice, I see Norway. I mean, look at all the young English players. Chelsea, for example. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything at all. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything for now. Let's see what they win. See if they win anything. A full side of English players. Look at all these players here. No. Check. 80. Shay, Nope. Van Perse. Robin. Peter Crouch. 38 years old. Would you get? Would you bring Crouch in at 38? Ashley Cole. I mean, he's a good player. Gareth Barry. 38. I mean... Can't really bring Gareth Barry in the side. Anton Ferdinand, really? Hutton? Nope. Fletcher? Scottish. Ridgewell. I'm just looking at the players that we could potentially bring in. But I've seen nobody yet that... Rob Green? 39 years old, 71. Nope. Sorry, Rob. It's good players to have otherwise. We could build a whole team from this. But. Gibson. Irish. You can see there's a lot of players here. Who was Luis Adriano and the journey he took us on? Where? Rodwell. Okay. That's on him. He's free. 68, I know. Ain't much, but. Hey. Okay. He's not going to cost us much, and he's a, he's a body. <laughs> Rodwell's a body. I don't think he's a bad player either. What was a body? By Hill? Welsh goalkeeper. And then you've got to look at the players that are, like, the English players that are around and how much they're going to cost. The Blackman, 71. Rated winger. 30 years old. Prolific. Hmm. Interesting. Jack Colback. Getting for I'd sign him. 30 years old. Saka knows the English. I think. Bird camp. Remember we had bird camp. Oh, he was terrible, wasn't he? Romulo, good player. Can't have got the other English players here. Punching. He's English, isn't he? Seventy-four. Hmm. Classic number ten. Oh, we add him. It's not much. Three years we've got him for. The backup players we've got in the moment. Not really English players that I've seen that I think, yeah. Okay, let's start to build. Let's start to look for players. Um. Manager's office, see what's available. Imagine the budget. Okay. Let's go for a day. 
Let's see if we can get as many of these players out as possible. It's three days there to start getting some of these players out of the club. Negotiations. Other teams. Rodwell, Colback, and Punching. Well. Guess one. It's two. Three. Three players we've got there, English players in. Um Nationality. Should have done that from the start. It was stupid of me. I should have done it from the start. For three players, I should have just done that and just typed in England. Dumbass. As soon as they English. Gareth Barry, 76. Simpson, 75. Colbert, 74. Can we get an 80? Lookman, Lookman, he's a right player. Lookman's all right though, 77. Uh, Brighton Hove Albion, which is my local team. We're well, local, meaning it's a local side. So I'm just looking to bring in a bunch of players that are yeah. So I'm looking for a bunch of players that are are, are English. And uh, let's see transfer. Yeah. So transfer list. Have a look and see what they've got English, English wise. Chambers holding. Well, they're two defenders I would bring in. I would definitely bring those guys in. Those are guys I would have. So that's not even a. Yep. Definitely. That's my defense, more or less. Getting sorted there and holding. Yep. Those two guys. Those two guys I would have in my side. So add this guys as listed players. So that's one I want. Um, Nelson. Yeah, I'd, I'd get Nelson. Add him on the list. Um, let's see what else. Leighton Baines, 35, don't think so. Klein, 28, Liverpool. He's listed. Yeah, I'd get him. Add him on the list. Remember, the, the other side, I'm trying to make a side that would actually... Carson. Scott Carson's only 70. He's a good goalkeeper though, Carson. Tim Speed, 72. May. Yes, add him. Add him. Sissing Young, 75. 19 years old, 75. It's a good future pick. Can play the whole left back position. Definitely. Ruddy, 74. Not a bad goalkeeper. Yeah, Klein is quality, isn't he? Nobody else at the moment I've seen that. Any real... It's all getting downhill from here, isn't it? It's all downhill from here. Yeah, pretty much all downhill. Ruddy. There's Ruddy, he's 74. I mean... Rob Greve, what do you think, Ruddy, guys? No, goalkeeper? I don't know. Let's see if we can get... See what goalkeeper we can bring in. Any English players we can bring in. Nate Mars, nope. Chambers, we try to go for. Smith Rowe, with somebody I would definitely look at. Grealish is somebody I like. Um, Pope, 78. 
Yep, we're going to try and get him. Um, Joe Hart, probably. Drink water. Yes. Um, Mount Barclay. Ross Barkley is a possibility. Yeah, probably I would use Ross Barkley. Loftus Cheek. Yes. Ross Barkley, the Forgotten Man. Yes. Cahill, no. He's a good goalkeeper. A oh, good defender. Um, Wickham. I like Wickham. But him. Pickford. Wow, 85. We're going to get him. Not for. Theo Walcott, a forgotten man down the right hand side. Chilwell, Leicester City. I would invest in him. Walcott, yes. Down the right hand side, you can't get. He's pretty good down the right hand side. Vardy, absolutely. That's what, definitely one of my key players I will be looking to get. Milner, Oxlade, Chamberlain, Lana. Brewster, yep, we'll bring him in. Scott Carson, nope. Foden, uh, Sterling, we're going to get him. Bissack, 80. Hmm, young, no. Rashford, yeah, we'd love to buy him, but nope. Gomez, nope. What we'll to bring on striker in as well. Gale, nope. Let's see. Ward Prowse. We'll definitely look at him. Yes, definitely look at you as well. Kane, no chance. None of those guys will look at. Ben Foster. Yes. Welbeck. Now there is a possibility. He's a guy I would think about Welbeck. I would consider Welbeck. Wiltshire. Mm, nah, let me see where he is. Chris Smalling. Uh, Smalling. Nah, stay where you are, Chris. Trippier. Mm, no, you can stay where you are. He's a good player. Dijon. Where's Sturridge? Woodrow. I like Woodrow. I do like Woodrow. I'm giving people chances. Where's Sturridge though? Have you seen Sturridge? Stuart Downing, he's still alive. Shoot Downing, still alive. <laughs> Where is he now? Where's my boy? Where's Sturridge? Do you remember, you remember Doris Fissel? you remember that name? I thought he was going to do real good things for England. Doris Fissel. Where's Sturridge, man? You look for Sturridge. He's the guy that I think... Intellectual experience, scores goals for England, was on a good little run as well. Daniel Sturridge, yeah, definitely, definitely bring him to bring him. So, we need some of these guys to believe in the club as well. That's the other thing. So, we've got some players. Are there any tournaments we're going to be playing in? Oh, here we go. One of our signings. Come in. Welcome. So he must be an important player. Let's see who this is. 
Yeah, he's got aspirations to do things. Good for him. Well done. Who are you? Oh, Jack Callback. Okay. Well done, Jack. Good. We need players out of the club now. Come on, who's going? Montoya? Gone. Montoya's gone. Gross gone. Two non English players out of the club. Okay. He can go. Yeah, this guy's not going to play. There's other teams to see what we've got here. Chambers. And uh, Lookman. Need a few players to shift out the club now. Rule Britannia. Typical you coming in the room and, and, and saying that, Kenyon. Typical. So, all right, I picked Brighton Hove Albion, so you can't say that I've gone for the easy route here. I've gone for the more difficult route tonight. A more difficult challenge. Who's this now? Who's this? That looks like Callum Chambers to me. Go on, Callum. Give it some. Go on, bit of Arsenal quality. Play for a club that wants to win things, mate. Yep, good to see you, son. Good to see you. Yeah, I don't want to hear what you got to say, dog. Just don't talk, just don't open your mouth. It's cool. Montoya's gone. More players leaving, I think. Or more players coming in. But if they can't be sold, they can go on the transfer list as well. Right. Uh, list of players. Yep, yeah, they can go on loan as well. All these guys that can't be sold, they can be listed as well on loan. We don't mind that. But we'd rather them be out of the club, though. No, I'm sorry. I'm not buying them, guys. Um... I see these players are listed that I want to bring in. Now, Rob Holding we're looking to bring in. Probably going to make him captain. Mm, Rob Holding. Yep. A goalkeeper we're going to need. It's going to be Hart or Pope. Pope 27. Hart 32. I like Hart because he's got the English experience. But his England career is many over. Pope is still starting his England career. So it's what you want. You want experience? Let's see now. One is 191. One is 196. Lug punt. High punt. Cut attack. Counter attack. Defense. Passion. He's a leader though, Pope, this guy. Star player is... Is a... I don't know. Who are you backing? Youngblood. Pope it is then. But then again... I think you need both. I think you need experience. Let's see what we've got here. Let's go him. Let's go Pope as well.
Yard or Coverleaf, mate. Um, Barkley. We need a striker. And the guy I'm looking for to be our striker is Sturridge. I just think. Let's see what he's got here. Skills. And he won't be that much money, you see, I don't think. His wage won't be much. I want to get Vardy, but I don't know. I'm going to walk up down the right hand side. Hope he's not going to cost too much money. Bloody hell. It's walk up space I'm looking at. Plus the fact that I would double them up and maybe use them as a... Just got to wait now and see how this works out. And see how these players lead, any players lead the club. Right. Just got to wait again. Don't know how this is all going to work out, boys. I've got no idea. But the more our players, these players that get sold out of the club, the better. Makes my job easier. So what's going on here? Negotiation with Joe Hart breakdown. I have no idea what this team's going to look like. Pope. Got a good goalkeeper in now. Hart's gone. Walk up. And let's get Rob Holding in as well for defence. Three good sidings we've got there. We haven't got much money in the old transfer salary now, so we need players to leave. CT management. We'll see how we do now. Um, get these tactics together, shall we? Yeah, we won't be playing like that. Yep, play the Man United way. Yeah, we're playing the Man United way, people. Sorry. Don't know how that's going to look. Our first game of the season is going to be against Aston Villa. No international cut for us, boys and girls. we nice to have got some friendlies in the way, actually. Well, first game's only around the corner. Jam. Don't know yet. We thought about Theo, 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 Theo. Nice to see you back in uh, colours, mate. And you know what? You've always wanted to be a striker up front, and you might end up being a striker up front for us, Theo. Start the season off. And he first started off, people thought he was going to be the new Michael Owen. And if it comes to it, might have to use him up front. If we don't have. Uh, Kovalev obviously is the guy that everyone's expecting to get beat, so bongs out. More people leaving the club, life happy. Nice. Good. This is good. This is very good. I'm enjoying this. A lot of players are leaving. Which is making it easier for me. Great. Wow, 
why would we complain? We've got some really, really good moves there. A lot of players leaving the club, which is fantastic for us. A lot of players left the club there. That's brilliant. I don't know yet. I, you know, I know that Canelo's the favourite, but... I like the way people think Canelo's just going to walk up there and punch Kovalev if he's going to fall over. I don't think it works like that. First game of the season. Here we go. The first year's manager of the club is about to pick off. Do you think you'll you think you'll include newcomer Jason Punch into your first in your team sheet? Haven't decided yet. Of course Koval is a dangerous man. It'd be funny if he knocked out Canelo. Oh, it was so funny. You know, people, Canelo's one of the greatest things to slice bread. He's that, he's this, he's the other. Let's see if we can get more players out of the club now. Not yet. Now, here we go. I have to pick a squad that's all English. You believe that? An all English squad. But... Uh, when is the last time you saw, apart from their national side, a squad that only had English players in it from beginning to end? Right. Right now. Pope in. Duffy and Dunk. Holding and... Uh, I'm not Duffy and Dunk, but I'm going to go with Holding... Proper. Rod Welly midfield ain't. Proper ain't playing, so. Rod Welly midfield. Jason Punchin. Tacky mid. Who can play on the right for us? Murray Lugman. Duffy. English button don't know I'm just going to pick the team of players and hope that they're all English so Martian English people in there. But I'm not going to substitute. I'm going to play with the team we got. One sixteen, one twelve. Are you serious? You tell me you think that Kovalev's a better, uh, that much better a boxer than Kovalev? Nah, come on, man. Don't believe that for one second. Bisaka, Bis Bisaka, he's not English. He's not English. We've got a left back. We need a left back English. This. Okay. There we go. I don't know about the rest of these guys, but. And because I don't know the rest of the guys inside, I can't. They're not English, they can't play. We can't have three goalkeepers on the team though. We simply can't. I know. First game of the season. It's a new era. We haven't finished building yet. We've got a lot of place still to leave. Villa are tough side, but there's no reason to fear them. Supporters will be giving it all today, so let's do the same. 
I don't think he'll walk through Canelo. So playing for Brighton Hove Albion. It's going to be something. Track sit and weary. Come on, boys. First game of the season. Well, the unknowns today. I don't know much about this side yet. We do need some more players in. I've stated that. Grealish is a player I would look at buying. Definitely. But we'll see. Any thoughts on the first game? It's nice to be home. Just down the road. Brighton stand at the dawn of yet another league campaign. The overwhelming question being, of course, how ready are they? It's a great time to be a fan. Smiles are beaming. Expectations are up. They've been deprived of the game during the off-season. A full English like side here, people. Eternity. Full English. New hopes, new faces, but the same old game. That match day feeling is well and truly back. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. <sighs> now, what do you think, mate? An English side. Well, British side. Every one of these players could represent England. We'll see how that works out. Everybody waiting to get the season underway. Everybody equal on the start line. Well, with star names and new faces, both on the pitch and on the bench, let's hope for a, a more... Jacobs didn't want to fight, man. Forget Jacobs. Uh, a better product for all to see, although I'm beginning to think that we're asking for the impossible. We'll get lots to analyse and debate, come what may as ever. And this ought to get us off to a busy start. I've been waiting for this quite a while, and I know you have too, Peter. So, here we go. Let's see how we go. This is the first game of the season. And we have kickoff. And we're underway. Walcott is making his debut today. So what do you think he'll bring to this team, Jim? Well, this is a player who's always capable of conjuring up that little moment of magic, Peter. He only needs an instant to make a difference with a killer pass or a telling run. And that's the kind of thing you need to unlock the fences. Nice touch. Grealish. Grealish! It's broken loose. And for a moment, time stood still. Let's see how we do it at the moment. Brighton come into this game with a new look management structure. It has been all changed for them. Yeah, it has, and it's a decision that seems to have the support of the fans, or at least that's the impression I got from talking Callback. to many of them on the way in. Callback plays it forward. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. That is terrific skill. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. <laughs> the 
Brighton have it back and they can go again. Good work there. Rodwell, what can he do? Good work, Rodwell. Oh, good work! Forward it goes. Hit it. Oh, shooting chance! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. over the line target and here's Walcott hit it Murray has a goal oh boy oh and they really should have been made to pay you lucky boy you lucky lucky boy giving the ball away like that is usually punished Meet. Can he deliver? Oh, and with that, the half time whistle goes. So now the team has broken through. That's certainly not for the one to try. Mm. Interesting game up to now, but still goals. Okay. Half, only in goals, the score, nil, nil. Let's look at the players we've got. We've got March, Stephen Webster. If they're not English, I can't play them. I wish March was English. If he was English, if I knew he was English, I'd play him. But I can't tell if he's English or not. Yeah, he's English. Which means I can drop Walcott here. I'll play with March down the right hand side. And uh, Stevens, I think he's English too. Stevens might be better than. Let me just double check with Stevens. I think Stevens is English as well. Stevens English as well. I think he is. I won't want to be playing a player that's non-English. Stevens English. I think Stevens is English. I don't want to bring in a player that's not well. If I bring in a player that's non-English, then yeah, I'll bring Stevens on for Rodwell. It would just be a genuine mistake, but I just want to play the whole season with just pure English players. I'm hoping the World Cup move works. That's the start of another 45 minutes. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Hoists it forward. Trouble here. Keeps everyone guessing. That's relief. What are we doing defensively? Goes for goal. Great save. World class save. That's what we needed there. A world class save. He's making good use of his strength there. Has a pop. Great save again. Oh, fine stop from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Two world class saves there from the keeper. So... Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Trezeguet with the short one. Just need better quality up front, that's for sure. Or midfield. Take the tackle, someone. Oh, good. Now there's a break on here. Oh. 
Great tackle there. Stevens. Now March. Stevens, what can he do? Back to Chambers. Chambers. What's Chambers doing? To Stevens. Now punching. Onto Walcott. Knocks it down. Walcott! Oh! That was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Defense isn't great here, I'll tell you that now. Need some work on it. It's good. Great work, Stevens. Great tackle, callback. Now here's the break on. Walcott. Ball. So here's March. This game the youngster. The winner. Come on, March. Give us something special, here, son. Come on, March. Give us something. Unlucky. Going through. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. We definitely need a better midfield. That's for sure. And a better defensive midfielder. Sure, I love my defensive midfielders. Oh, we're in trouble here. Goes looking. We don't deserve to lose a game today. We really don't. Played into the middle. Dunk is there to heave it away. Well done, Dunk. Great tackle. Stevens again. Well done. And that will be the final act. Okay, hold on. Take a point there. All things considered, a pretty good point. Why don't you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, not losing the first one of the season is, is highly acceptable. Good to steer clear of uh, an early negative. Yeah, but so I'm glad. Today. I'm glad you, now. Jim. And good afternoon all. Yeah, um, it's not bad. We have a... Yeah, I, to, I think I've got to bring three or four more quality players in for sure. We need that those quality players in because we're just not going. It's not going to cut it. We're going to have to need quality. I need a quality defensive midfielder. I think Gareth Barry bring him in might be an idea. I just oh my gosh, wasted all that time, man. We need that time to negotiate to bring players in. I don't care about Messi being your best European player. I'm going to change. I don't care about the league opener either. Right, we need to make some changes here. Settings. Because we can't afford. I need to go. Um, every day. Change it. Because we've lost a few days now. Team management. Negotiations. To help more players out of the club. Right. Button. Mm, he's English. But you can go. More space in the club. And Rios? More pay. Sorry, mate. Gone. Okay. So let's have a look and see youth players. We can. I don't think we really should be looking at youth players, if I'm really honest with you. I don't think we've got a strong enough side to start looking at youth players. I think we need to bring in three or four more quality players. Really quality players, because I thought our midfield was lacking. If I'm honest with you guys. I felt our midfield was lacking. Um, Barkley. Yeah, he's the kind of guy I think we need. In midfield, definitely. Um, we'll pay the money for Barkley, definitely. I think it's the sort of guy we need. I rate Ross Barkley quite highly, actually. I think he is not used enough by England. Ross Barkley's one. Jamie Vardy was the guy I would love to have bought at the club I really would but he'd be an easy option out let me see if I can get storage again I'm going to try and get storage um, let's give a two year contract let's give him that I think I'll give him a bit more on his salary as well I want to Why is this not on on my hmm what what are you talking about what are you talking about hitman Danny Welbeck I think we need a central defensive midfielder because I'm not happy with what we've got um drink water good Loftus Cheek's a good player I like Loftus Cheek I really do um Klein we were trying to sign him before 
get him in the club as soon as possible. Got a new follower. Thank you. Give your stream. It pops up on my YouTube. What about it? That's nice. It's great. Um, who are we going to bring into the side more? We need a bit more. We talked about getting chill well in, didn't we? Nope. The other guy um, from Sessignon. Yep. Tottenham. He won't be that much expensive, will he? Yeah, we'll get him. A three year contract. Sessignon, yep. We need to improve our attack because I don't think we've got enough attack there. Well, back. Mm. I think we should get well back in. But we can do something with him. I was thinking of bringing in trash back. Oi. Let's say that. No, uh, not really. I was thinking maybe. And Brewster, I can't get him. So we'll see what we do. How this works out at the moment. We need another defensive midfielder. Honestly, we do. Trash back, he says. Callum Wilson now. Nah. Not a big fan of him. Well, some people rate him. And we haven't got much time for the transfer window either. That's not good. It's really not they. OG? He's a possibility. Now we've got Sheffield United next. I hope we've got somebody at the club. Nobody at the club still. Which is a freaking pain in the ass because we need more players. Yeah, that I did think about him for a second. I might play Callum Smith in that Callum Smith, Callum, Callum Chambers in that role actually. Loftus Cheek, yes, yes, definitely. Declan Rice, yeah, yeah. I see that. I see Declan Rice as well. I've got Jack. Cole, I've got Jack Cole back at the moment playing. But I don't like this team. Sorry, I'm not having this. Um, the powers that be do not agree with Lukman being on the left. Well, they can just kiss my ass. Lukman on the left, walk up through the middle because Murray's absolutely garbage, and march through the right hand side. Um, Rodwell, I thought Stevens was pretty good in midfield actually. I'd like to see more of him. Um, Callum Chambers on the right hand side, holding on the left. Holding's not a left back. So we need to get that sorted. No, we're not going to go with Arnold. Come on, man. Behave yourself. Arnold. Remember, we have got a budget to stick to. If we buy Arnold now, that's half our budget gone. Stevens here. So we've got to remember, budget, we've got to pay consideration as well. At least for the first season. Pro put out. Davis in. Basuma out. Wayne in. Roberts in. And that's Roberts. Burn in. So out still. Right. Now. you got that left back, mate. Rob the bank. Yeah, that's going to hurt us, though, if we rob the bank. Duncan Duffy with Chamberlain. Chambers on the right. Call back. We'll go with that for now. Rob Holding. Yeah, he's on the bench today. Davis, Rodwell. Dunk being captain. 
we'll change that and all English side we get again now the strategy counter attacking I think you know what I wasn't happy last game I think let us play more possession football short passing let's use the wings boy well let's use the, let's go wide I don't, let's play that I know we're Sheffield United I think we should play more count with more possession football let's try more let's try and see how that goes today not a bad team to begin with thank you very much um, bear in mind that a lot of the players of this Brighton the a lot of you tried it's just a, a, a pure English side or pure British side I say oh Duff wait Duff is English isn't he or is Duff Irish if he's Irish he's off straight away he's Duff Irish well, good afternoon to you. Things had been building up very nicely over the last couple of days in the lead up to this game. But as you can see, the last couple wow. of hours are a rather different story. The weather has decided not to play ball. The conditions here are a long way from ideal. It is teeming with rain. And that has left both teams contemplating Cheers for very that. different challenges. It's almost old Didn't know that. Understandable looks of concern on the faces of managers, Barkley. officials, players and fans alike. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. There. He's represent the England squad. Behave yourself. To score effective with the ability he has, he can reproduce. As long as they can qualify to play for England, they have played for England. They can play for the side. So changes already. That is a bit of a surprise. I don't really think that it's a reflection on his individual performance. I don't think he's been that bad to be taken off. But it seems more of a tactical move now for what lies ahead. Chambers tries making a foray down the right. Played into the middle. Yep, score a first goal. Fence has got rid of that. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Brighton made a reasonable start to the season. A draw first up. Balls out on the left now. Goes to the cross. Goal. Oh, lucky. Maybe Four Peter Crutch. Maybe Peter Crutch wouldn't have been a bad signing. Think about now. Stevens is not a bad player. Found themselves tending, nowhere to go. Walk up. Gets the better of his man. March. Big chance. Oh. A wonderful effort, all by himself. Well, he cut straight through the middle, only to find he had no cutting edge. Played it short. Punchen. Punchen with the cross. And that should be the keepers. Walker's not been effective up front, to be honest. I would like to see more of him, but. Still waiting for the first goal. Just brushed off the ball there. There goes Punchen again. Well, the crowd Walk really off. like what they just saw. Some real Lookman. no nonsense defending. Come on, guys, get that go. Go on, Walcott. Good run. Go again, March. Get Walcott into the game. Go on, Lukman. Oh, we're getting there, boys. We're getting oh, there. Real danger here. Come on, let's make this goal. Come on. Come on. What's Punch and doing. Well, that is going to be the final 
of the first half. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. <sighs> but still goals. I wonder. Interesting half. Just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. Walker hasn't really impressed me. Or thought I'd have got more from him. Now punching. I need to look at what he can do. Can he play up front? Let me look at his position. He's 33 years old punching. Captaincy. Incisive run. Okay. I wonder if I could turn Lookman into the new Henri. Let's suck at him closer. Floating, ro floating flank. He can plat run, Flutman. He's got the pace to do it. So let's see. If I put Lukeman there, I'm going to put Lukeman up front. Switch March to the left because he's doing well. I like March's run. Walk up to the right, Lukeman up front. And then punch him, who's not really impressed me at the moment. Stevens looks better than punch him, to be honest. That's what these two rounds, see how that works out. No. Nope. Stevens is still good. Colback's okay. Maybe I can just push Lookman up a bit more. Push punch, keep punching there. If I bring these guys, these two strikers, bring them up a little tighter. Yeah, bring them a little tighter. Yeah, that's right. Let's have a look and see how that works the second half. Got to see what we can get out of the players we've got. So off we go once more. A tight old game so far. Can that change now? Looks to clip it forward. Played into space. Whip it in, 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 whip it in. Good run. Whip it in. It's good work. Punching. Nice. Oh, good work there, boys. Oh, I like that. Just need our first goal of the season. A tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Who's got that ball? Who's getting that? Call back. Call back plays it forward. Okay. We definitely need to improve our left back, that's for sure. That's a holding. definite... We're holding. Stevens. Chambers, Walcott, back in his original position, Walcott now what can you do, this is key for Walcott now, the right pass, the right pass, hit it, oh come on, you've got to put that ball in the back of the net mate, that's a good run from Walcott, good break into the box, that was the best of Walcott we saw, terrible from punching, just put that ball in the back of that, mate. Come on. I, I don't want to see that, man. You will end up being on the bench more than you will be seen. Come on. We need something now. We need something in the box now, punching. Come on, boys. We need something. Come on. Where's the right back? Oh, come on. Great tackle, punching. Oh. They're slowing the game up a bit. Come on. Looking forward to having Ross Barkley in the side as we can do. Good on that. Drives it forward. Wait, defensive work. Uh oh. Close that down, boys. Come on. Oh, sweet feet. Come on. So who's he picking out? Nobody that we oh, want really him to pick out. Good feet from him. Oh. Come on, boys. Good work. Great work there. Now go. Look, this can still go, go either way. It might be now walk up. Way, but there's still time for go, go, go. What's Walcott doing? What are you doing, mate? I'm paying you to create opportunities, not give the ball away. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rule more? I think it would be a cautious mindset they'd regret more for me. So I'd like to see them try and go and win this. If we're going to get a winner, it's got to come now. Yeah, don't rub it in. That's great strength. Good work, the callback. 
Go on, call back. Go on, go on, go on. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Uh, yeah, I've seen enough as well. Okay. So. You know what? We're going to need better than this. I mean, we're all right at the moment, but we need better. We need a le better left back. Who we got next? And the, the transfer window shuts tomorrow. I've got to do something desperately and get players in. I hope all the players that I've tried to sign can get in. Barkley. We needed that. We've got Barkley in. Sessignon. Storage was my first section. Klein. Mm. I'm well back. Now the guys we've got him, we need players to get out now. So I'm happy with that more, but we need more players to leave the club. We really do. Our wage budget is not looking great. I think fans will be happy now with what we've got, but a left back sorted, a right back sorted, attacking options are better. So we've got one day left in the transfer window. We need players to leave. Big time. We haven't got the time to so I'd like to have another defensive midfielder. In. Yeah, Sturridge boy. Walk out. Alright, oh, it's alright. I've got faith in Sturridge, man. Bad boy. Oh, as long as you don't injure, I think you'll get a sort of goals. Yes. This is a club where you've got to make, your, make a name for yourself, mate. I know you did stuff at Liverpool and shit, but this is where you've got to do it. Get yourself a recall in England, squad. Yeah, Sturridge boy. Yes, that's it. Big man. Big things. Yes, see you soon, Ute. Yes, that's it. Need a little bit of good finishing up front. Ross Barkley, maybe? Last day on the transfer window. My Ute. Hulse is looking. Yep, they can. They need four hours for the official offer. They can have him. Yes, Kenny. Change management. Let's hope players are leaving the club and more players are coming in. Let's see. Um, four hours to do the deal. Well, we can't buy anybody at the moment, so we're never a crap position. We can't buy anybody. Look at our budget. So we just got to play the waiting game and hope that somebody wants to buy one of our players. So if we can get a player in, we'll be. Let's hope that we can get a player out. Yes. Toshard. That's to give us 2.2 .2 million. Got nine hours left. Do not, in between this time, negotiation. No play at the club. We are running out of time. Seriously. Seven hours. Something's going on. What's he saying? What's Kenny saying now? Yeah, I don't... I don't care about... I really don't care about what they want. Uh, you know, six hours. We need to get in, to me. We need to find now a defensive midfielder. I just feel it's important we get two defensive midfielders into the club. Proper's got a goal as well. That's some good money we've got there. Five hours. Damn it. I've got to get in. I've run out of time. Um, negotiation. I need to find. I can't look for anybody else. Right. Players we're going to try and sign were 
Loftus Cheek. Yes. Let's give him a bit more. In yeah, two years. We need Loftus Cheek. Thank you. So we've got to get Loftus Cheek in. It's going to take two hours to try and get him in. Hopefully, he'll take that. We haven't got much time left. We need Loftus Cheek to accept. I hope he does. If we get him, he's got to accept. Yes, big things. Got two hours left. I think we're going to be able to make another deals. But you know what? You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? This sounds dumb, yeah? It might sound silly. But, if I can... Okay. If I can get Gareth Barry in. I mean, that would be a bad thing. No, hold on. Free, 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 free. It's got to be free. It's got to be free. Yeah, 76 Barry. You did a holding roll well. Let's try the loan. See who I can load in. Smith Row down the left. Mount Odie. Baines. Can't get nobody else. We're just going to have to go with what we got, people. And hope it's enough to get us to Christmas. And um, team management, skill training. And who are we going to skill train up? Oh, defense and field attack. I think our strikers, who, who are we going to work on? Our long long range shots? Storage. Let's build, let's give storage all he needs to be that striker that we want. Okay. Yeah, his storage used to play for Chelsea, didn't he? We've done all we've done. We've done all we can, I think, at this point in time. Yeah, maybe I should go on negotiations quicker, but... Right now, I don't. Know, I don't want to sound cocky, but I think I'm special. One, yes, I think I'm special. One, we will win. Any thoughts on Arsenal's appointment of Hall of Fame Jose Mourinho? What? What? Are you joking? Are you joking? Are you Are you kidding me? Are, are you joking? Are you seriously? Are you kidding me? Are you, are you pulling my leg, George? Now you must be pulling my leg, man. You must be pulling my leg. You must be. You really must be pulling my leg. You must be trying to take the piss, yeah? Are you serious? Are you serious? No, you're joking. 
If you're joking, then if you're serious, this stream is ending now. And I'm talking about it. I'm telling you. What? Wow. Well, wow. don't end the stream. I'm not going to end the stream. But let's look at our team and see who else needs to leave the club. Ryan, gone. He's got to go. Stevens is English. Basuma. Well, we've got a bunch of players that will leave the club next season. This season. All right. Well, we'll have to move on. I hope so, because Mourinho was a guy that I thought should be at Arsenal. Okay, let's look at team management. Let's look at the squad now. Yeah, I'm going to focus on this because we've got a good squad here. So, any 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 questions or any thoughts on the team that I've brought now in? Hmm. Lukeman, Welbeck, Walcott. I, I see. See, I I like the way the team's set up. But first of all, Ryan is out. With Steele as the backup goalkeeper. Okay. Um, holding on for Duffy. Duffy will not play another game this season for us. So he'll go on loan if necessary. Um, Burns, Webster. Defence. Um, Chambers. Basuma out. In, in. Rodwell in. We don't need uh, Stevens. Right there. Punching in. Duffy out. Marching. Burns out. Okay. So we have now. I made a big fuss about storage. So I've got to start with him. The storage up front. Um, Dunker's captain. No, I'm not feeling Dunker's captain at all. Um. I've got to look at the rest of the players now. Let's see player details. Not a captain. Not Barkley. So the captain I'm looking at is holding as a potential captain. Because I would have him as Is he a captaincy material? There you go. Captaincy. So he would have captaincy. In fact, he is captain. Forget Dunk. He's captain. Um, okay. And so now, our next our game, our season begins. So. Any thoughts on who I've got playing as strikers? We've got Sturridge, Welbeck up front at the moment. Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. 
one glance and you know where we are it is one of the most recognizable arenas for the beautiful game in the world is it and boy does it add to the occasion brighton have gone 4-3-3 jim how do you interpret that yes and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another if that happens then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively so compactness can't be compromised and you need talkers in this team you need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly we're gonna win but your house in it let's see Sturridge gets his goal today we're on the way speed up a bit Brighton are inhabiting the planet nil scored none conceded none shut this up cannot keep happening well, shut up it's something they probably weren't expecting but Ooh, nice. That has certainly tested the keeper. Nothing. Simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. And it's played for. And the finish! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Jean Moutinho tries to switch the play. Lookman battles to win it back. All right, hold on. Game plan. If we're playing attacking football, I'm not interested in that today. I'm really not. So let me know. Uh, it's possession football, attacking, short build-up. Yeah, look the wide areas. Okay, okay I'm happy with that. Possession football is what I want to play today. Nice, nice, nice. to be good here. Nice. Finishing. forward at pace. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Trouble. It's a loose ball. Trouble. Trouble. Looking for a decent ball in. Good side. And the half-time whistle goes. And both sides have drawn blanks. They have times, okay. Alright, let's change change counter. Alright. Guys. Really been in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate let's go on the counter. Very, very organized. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change perhaps after half time. Play the counter. We've got the pace now to play counter football. Let's go counter football, boys. So off we go once more. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been saved for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and goal. early on. Goal. This is it. Goal. We've got the pace. Let's go. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Nice work. Unlucky. All right. But he's given the answers. I've seen enough of Lookman today. Um, and I've not really been totally pressed with Lookman, but... I'll bring you up here more and bring you up there more bring more sparkling into the game a bit more mm. then don't cut Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair ball. reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. The storage. The donker knocks it Put away. Stuff there. Here's Klein. Can he run into the box for us? Enough players waiting. And here's there we go. Chance. This could be it. Target. Walcott did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Right. Substitution time. Definitely times. Right, I'm gonna take Lookman off. Because he's alright. I just think where's March? Where's March? No March. Alright. I'm gonna put Welbeck on the left now. Yeah, bring Welbeck on the left. 
Um, can Chambers play in that defensive midfield role for me? No, he can't. So forget that idea. Barkley's knackered. Stevens, mate, you're gonna have to come on, mate. Brighton have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Welbeck is looking to make a big first impression here. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. It would be excellent if Welbeck came on now and got the goal for us. Ball. Nice. Walcott. Go on, Wilbur. That intervention was very necessary. The clearance and very necessary. Hmm. Let's get this goal, guys. Ten minutes. We make a goal here. Come on. Now we're fitting. Now we're fitting. Drives it in. Hit it. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Come on, guys. Got to fight harder for a ball. And it's Raul. Great strength. Two That's it. This is 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 it. Now this is it. Sturridge. Good well work there, well back. To the wing. This is it. Now make it count. Make it count. Oh, Ooh, come on. <sighs> and the referee brings it to a close. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied uh. by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps... Uh, another frustrating game. That's the first time I've played in this game and not had scored any goals. <laughs> and we're normally a team that likes scoring goals, so we'll see what we've got now. International announcement. I lost my house. Yeah, you did, mate. This is an all England side, remember. So, uh. And just need time players to get themselves. You know, get themselves marinated into the side, so. They need to get used to playing together. And when they will, they will, will fly at the table, I'm sure. Let's hear what Kenny's got to say. It's been a bad... It hasn't been a bad start. We should be aiming at Let's win some more. Shut up, Kenny. Always telling me about winning games. Holding fails to find form. Supporters unhappy. About what are they unhappy about? What is there to be unhappy about, man? He hasn't conceded any goals. He hasn't done anything stupid. I don't understand what, what you want. I don't get what you want. I mean, we haven't we haven't conceded, but we haven't scored. So, well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride so much passion whenever football is played here it's Sturridge big relief it just needed better contact Sturridge certainly caught it well enough but that was never really going to trouble the keeper
Three draws from three, so only three points from a potential nine. It's not a great return. Come on. Holding. We'll get it right. We've got to play better though. Tries lifting it over. Gone off. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Got Ryan playing, man. Take him off. Why is Ryan playing? Who else is playing? Duffy. God. It's maybe an all England side. Forgive me, please forgive me. It's maybe an all England side. Watford coming into this game on the back of a really good result and their boss must take an awful lot of credit for that well, Peter he was lauded by the media and quite rightly too I think what he did was clever and decisive and it just goes to show how tactically astute he is he gets past his man no he doesn't do get side demonstrating fabulous determination good work good he ball let's go this is it he's delivered all right just so calm under pressure well i think that defense there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on it's really crafty business that Great goal from Lookman. The first goal of the season and it's a wonder goal. So this journey begins with Lookman scoring. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change. Brighton get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead though. They can't afford to sit on this. Pereira. He's fouled in there. Come on, ref. Got to be careful now, boys. And it's hoisted clear. That's a throw. So the players we've got now. All the players we have now. Oh, careful, careful, careful. He has done it. Well, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out. Never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear. Okay. He's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. That's a really interesting game and they head in at half time. Okay. 1 1. I make a difficult call here. But. The storage thing ain't happening. I ain't feeling storage at the moment. I ain't feeling him. Um, again, Ross Barkley and Loftus Cheek. I think I could. Mm, I'll swap them around. I'm going to put Loftus Cheek in, mid, in, in attacking mid, and I'm going to play Barkley in central mid. And I'm going to bring Jack Cole back here. Okay. I'm going to bring these guys a little further up the field. Just see how that works for the second half. I think we'll score again. In fact, I'm sure we'll score again. Brighton get the second half started. Colback. Chambers. Holding. Holding. Walcott. Liking the way of playing, eh? Yeah? Ooh. Good delivery. No joy. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. That was nice, though, boys. Increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. As you can see, lads, we are building. We're getting better. The movement's getting good. I like the movement. I love the movement. 
checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. If we keep playing like that, we're going to score goals for sure. Colback. Sessignon. Chambers. Holding. Pope gets it upfield and back to base. Prudel. Dawson drives it forward. Great work. Counter. Chambers. Let it go, boys. Let it go. Nice. Go, go, go on. Gets the better of Loftus Cheek. It worked. And yes, it's there. It worked. And they've got their lead back. It worked. Calm, composed, confident. What a super goal. Ah, that's just clever. He made the keeper think he was going one way, only to outfox him by going the other. Very nice. Big things, big things, big things are Guan. Big things are Guan. That's it, boys. Big things are Guan there, man. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Should try to sign I Rooney. The danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. I think we're defensively right. okay. We've just got to hold on for a few more moments. Great work, boys. It's come loose. Good work. Well, Counter. It to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be. And that's it. Brighton winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Look, this is a team that doesn't look as if it's daunted away from home. They were organised and determined, and they can surprise again if that standard is maintained. So, okay, thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you. So far, so good. That's good. Now, three games, we've got our first win of the season, which is good. That will build confidence and momentum. Is what we need. We showed that this this score a goal against us. We can come back and score two. Burnley next up. So we're at home now. And now I think we should start to begin to see um, we should start to begin to see some progression. Um, Duffy. Add to loan list. Um, add to loan list. Roberts. Is he English? He can go anyway because we don't need him. Um, Punching. We'll play. Okay. Maybe we can look at youth players as well so we can bring in Sue's. Any youth players that have any 50, 60. Ship him home. Yep, they're all getting shipped out the club. Next game, Burnley. Game plan. I'm gonna make sure that Duff doesn't. Duff and Ryan do not sneak into the squad. No matter how many times, we just gotta keep doing it. Keep trying to sneak these non-British players into the team. It's not happening. Now, let me just do this up a bit more. What did we learn from that game? We learned that Loftus Cheek and Barkley seem to play better that way together. Um, and then we'll leave it as that. Let's get Callum Chambers in because Holding's not playing great. Um, let's get Ryan out. And where's our other. Okay. Steel's there, so we don't need Ryan in. Let's give a train in. Rodwell in. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna start a well back in this game. Bring storage on second half. 
and dunk his captain. The other thing I'm going to do is save this. Right. I don't know about a save it yet, but well. Well, deck. We looked at storage. The storage hasn't pulled it off yet. But leaving them on the bench to. I've noticed if you leave players on the bench a couple of games, they seem to find sense. Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Brighton have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yeah, Peter, you can look at this formation one minute and think that it is 4-3-3, and the next time you check it'll be 4-5-1. And it's all to do with whether you've got the ball or not, and the wider attacking players being asked to apply defensive discipline too. When it does turn to a five across midfield, then the shape of this team takes on a much tidier, compact defensive look. And we're underway. And here's Loftus Cheek. Well back! Step first effort on goal. Goodmanson. Now oh, it's Jay Rodriguez. Barkley. Now it's well back. That's surely a foul free kick. Well, it's making things, things happen at the moment. He's making things happen at the moment, so we'll see. Try and ask you. Ross, Ross Barkley. I not see much of him yet. And that's why. Look at that. It's garbage. Pass from Ross Barkley. He's going to win it back though. He does. Come on, Barkley. See better for me, man. Klein. Callback. Good ball, callback. And here's Loftus Cheek. Lookman. Look at the goal. Oh, unlucky. Just needed better contact. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. See, it's just them working together. Just them working together to know who's going to do what. Lookman looks like he's bloody 45 years old. Can't believe he's young, man. Barkley. Brighton clung on for the three points in their last game. We didn't cling on. Don't talk rubbish. Don't talk rubbish. We didn't cling on. We Brighton played well. Are enjoying the lion's share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. Peters. Speed this up a bit. A bit too slow for my liking. Peters drives it forward. Go, go, go. Cessignon. Good pass, Cessignon. And hit. Lucky Robert. It's being played forward. Guys, off shooting now. Here we go. Well back. Well back. Full of it. We're well, getting done. Nothing yet. Jump for Chinese. Who's that knackered there? He's making good use of his strength. That is going to be the final action of the first half. Both sides have drawn blanks and have toiled at times. Look, Loftus Cheekers look good. Who's knackered though? 
I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely Lutman. well. Take him off. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Bring storage on. Who's knackered? Who's your knackered place? I see you Okay. We're at home, so I'm going to take Jack Colbert. Play right and put him there. I'm just going to bring on Stevens. Because there's a guy I've got a lot of faith in, Stevens. See if he can hold things up for us. Russ Barkley. Play attacking mid. See Stevens and Ross Barkley can play together. And the second half gets on the way. Come on, Storage. Get that debut for me, man. Didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality. Liking this, liking this, liking this, liking this. Ooh. I'm liking that though. Plenty of moving targets to pick out in the Very box. nice, boys. Very Obviously, nice. Your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Very nice. Now I wonder if I should have bought bloody flipping Crouchy in the side now. He laughed, but probably would have come in handy. He probably got a couple of goals now. He's big head. Goodmanson Trouble here. On to it and can take it up. Trouble here again. And that has been cleared. The count was on, boys. Cork. Count was on. Sturridge was on the starting eleven last time out. Now it's Sturridge. Count was on, boys. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. Yeah, I agree. No progress. Well positioned to make that. Let's go, boys. Opportunity. Well back. Make it happen now. Ah, oh, come on. Behind for a corner. Come on, boys. Come on. Massively. Oh. Well, Finally. Finally. Sturridge. On his day. A debut. Not a debut goal. A debut and goal, though. His first goal for Brighton. That dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met. It really was. The England connection. Ross Barkley. Sturridge. The England boys are at it. Sturridge and Barkley. Brighton take the lead. The perfect display and the old saying comes to mind when the going gets tough, etc. Well, it did look promising to start with, oh. but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the... Shapes to shoot! Oh! Really well taken goal! Yeah, they defense. done it! Yeah. their equaliser! Yeah, well, defensively, we'll have to look at a few things, boys. Well, he was Clients a question mark. There. Oh, look, there's only one player who makes all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts... You can't being where blame the keeper for that. Absolutely top notch. But the defence, again... I'm wondering if our defence needs to tighten up. Maybe we need to change the defence after we score a goal. Maybe so. We can't be conceding goals like that. And I'm a guy that don't... So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Let's get a second goal, boys. Come on. A whole new complexion to the game. Oh, guys, come on, boys. Come on, boys. There's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost come on, boys. Come on, boys. The setback. And this is come on, boys. For me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Ah... Uh. And that is it. The referee has seen it up. So it's ended in a draw. Craft and graft and everything apart from a winning goal that mm. never came. And intriguing contest.
and a result which at least partly satisfies all. I think we need to look at who scored. How do you reflect on what we've seen? The goal well, a scored. Decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points, and it ended with the right result, in my opinion. Great well, goal from Storage. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye. But it's the goal that the goal that we can see that we'll look at again, because this is the way we learn. Look at this. So it's a full run. It cuts inside. Who's that defender? Who was that defender running across there? Who was that defender? So Chambers, setting on Pope in your high rate. Klein was terrible. Colback, hmm. Yeah, we've got some issues there. Tenth in the table. Well, this is a challenge. Nobody can say. Okay, Liverpool now. Nobody can say that we haven't. Um, this isn't a challenge. Nobody can say, oh, you did it the easy way. You spent loads and loads of money, put loads of players in. Nobody can say that. Accuse me of that. This is a real challenge, real test. A real challenge of my uh, managerial career. Can't buy any more players now. Right, I'm going to make some changes. For this game, forget Duncan Duffy. I'm going to go one step better. I'm going to bring in an England. I'm bringing Chambers and Holding. Rob Holding and Chambers. Right, that's my defence. Ross Barkley in defensive midfield. Well, I think that's a waste of a play, really. Well, I'll take Basuma out. you got to bring Stevens in. Puncher hasn't played much, so I'm going to have to look at him as well. I think we can play, can we play with Loftus Cheek in defence mid. It's a waste of a player. Real waste of a player. See Barkley. See Loftus Cheek's better in centre midfield. Barkley plays better at attack. Um, Sturridge, Walcott. Play Liverpool. Yeah, they're going to be coming at us. They're going to be coming at us like a like a ton of bricks, for sure. March in that side. Duffy out. Callback punching. Murray Welbeck. Hmm. Not going to play Murray, are we? Let's be honest. Okay. How are we going to play against Liverpool? Got to get that right first of all. What's the tactic? Possession football, I think. Yeah. Got to play better. Well, I'm playing two players that know each other from Arsenal together. Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both camps. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. And already we're underway here. Can we nick a 1 0 win today? This turns on, Jim. Yeah, Allison. He's an excellent shot stopper, Peter, first and foremost. But he's just as good at creating chances as. Walcott! Yes! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. 
Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. It's an England team. Go on, Walcott. Good for you. Let's not stop there, boys. Brighton have an early lead. Good start. And here's Roberto Firmino. Good defending. Anyone's ball. Hits one. Nicely worked. Firmino quickly pounced onto that. It was very nicely worked. Got a good game today against Liverpool. We'll see exactly where we are today. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Being intercepted. Good tackle. Great work. Stevens. Cessignon. Liking Stevens' play. It's a great ball. Goodman. Great Loftus ball. Oh, unlucky Loftus Cheek. Oh, it's a good ball. Oh. It's Mohamed Salah. Brighton. Great work, Stevens. Well, Doing great work, Stevens. And here's and Firmino! Great save there, Pope, to the rescue. Oh, that's a fine save. Firmino really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. And it's Mane. A really good feat. Great tackle. Well, looks a foul. Yep, no, it's not. It. Come on, ref. It's a great tackle from Loftus Cheek. Great work from Loftus Cheek. Really great work. I don't know what the referee's doing. He's trying to flip, set him up. That's what he's trying to do. Set up for the free kick just before half time. You know it's coming. That's what Pope's up to. Oh, he's the Room for a shot. And the half time whistle goes. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. Okay. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Lookman's tired. Into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Time for March to have a game. Do you look at the strength of that defence? Yeah. Everything else I'm happy with. March will come in and do well for us today, I'm sure. The start of another 45 minutes. Brighton carrying a one goal lead. Walcott and here's Sturridge. Barkley plays it out to the wing. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Work it, boys, work it. 2 0, so game over. Out? Oh, penalty ref. Cross his interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Chambers is there and he can get that clear. And here's Roberto Firmino. Great tackle. Counter, time. boys, counter. Go on, son. Go on, son. Oh, big chance. They've scored. What'd I tell you? A two goal cushion and it's looking safe. There was to be only one outcome. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. Definitely make some changes now. Checks on the touchline. A change about Starish has been brilliant today. Really brilliant so Starish. Two now without reply. 
That second goal has such a, a polarizing effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal. Go on, well there. Go on, well there. I'm lucky. Chances of turning two into three. And here's Mohamed Salah. Mane with a shot. Safe out. Fine. Chambers. Barkley. Chambers. Yes. And time is up. Brighton have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? And it goes to show that when the motivation and tactics are right, anything is achievable. Thoroughly impressed with this. What do you think, boys? That was fantastic. I thought it was. I thought it was a great performance myself. I thought that we played well, we held, we retained the ball well, we got opportunities, we took our opportunities. And we shut a Liverpool squad out that is uh, struggling in the league. Still kept Liverpool quiet, which is great. We've got Burnley next in the FA Cup. Anybody else going to get sold? Let's see. Ryan gone who else Stevens he's English he's a fantastic player I like him a lot a lot of time for Stevens this is Roberts Davis Roberts Okay, so I like I like what I've seen there. Very much so. Um okay, we've got now game plan. Why oh, keeps using Ryan? I'm gonna do something about that. I thought our defence looked good. I don't know what I see it. Thank you. Everyone else is self explanatory. Um, I thought everyone played together quite well actually. In this couple of game, I want to bring another players on. punch has got a good game. I have to say, Stevens is a guy I'm very impressed with. March, another guy I'm impressed with as well. I said you'd come on and do the business, didn't I? Just knew you would. Any thoughts? Anybody coming to your mind at the moment that you think, yep, good player, I like him. Good signing, good, not so good signing. Impressed, not so impressed. Good you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. 
this one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Things have got on the way here pretty promptly. Barkley plays it out to the wing. Lookman. And here's Welbeck. Get it back in. Shoot. Short, look at the goal. What a start. And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, high quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. Brighton have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Nice to locate someone up front. Good stuff, boys. Good Forward stuff. It goes. Has he picked him out? Well back. He's got away. Well back. They've done it. Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a meal the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, oh, you've got him, oh, you don't. Bring it. Things starting to look very comfortable. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Lookman. Look, but look, man! Nice. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Barkley. And it's Klein. Barkley. Look, man! Oh. Goodmanson. Wood and here's Barnes out to the left it goes loses his balance and loses the ball and the first half is done the first half thoughts oh they had their opponents reading in that half feature and the break name needs to change somehow but don't hold me to it and players head 2-0 and they are looking good Bring March on. Give some new players a chance. Um, bring Rodwell. Stick him in defensive mid. And bring Punch on him. Give kids and you guys a chance to play some football. Got the game wrapped up, so you might as well just try them out. And we are underway again. So. Goodmanson plays it forward. Holding. Keeper sends it forward. Now it's Welbeck. And Welbeck! They are rampant! And the lead is extended still further. Joe Harp. And we all signed him. It's quite fabulous. All his own doing. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. Hold on, boys.
Brighton take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Oh, and again. Cecil heads it! Oh. It goes to show he is human after all. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks the harder thing to do. Needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Play, boys. Well done. Most, for the most part, it's good. Westwood drives it forward, and that's the end of that. It all March. started well enough. Chooses to go back. Rodwell cuts it out. Loftus cheek, and it's punching. Fence has got rid of that. Only Welbeck's going to try and get a hatchet today. And it's Tarkovsky. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pope. Claims it. Well, bit hat trick. Are we going to get it today? Goal. Face to face with the keeper. It's gone a long way up and away. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to to sag, and he was never going to last. Until cool. Well, we'll get a hat trick, buddy. Fort goes looking. Off his cheek. Come on, well, bit. Get a hat trick. Punchin pings it out wide. Into the tries a shot. And with that. The final whistle. Brighton have done it again. Another step towards glory. Still a fair way to go. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Listen, it was fairly emphatic to move on to the next round with as big a winning margin, I think, can only benefit their campaign. Yeah. A springboard win and a very buoyant outlook. Happy, boys. You can't complain. I mean... You know, that's a good performance against a premiership side, so to, to, to not complain, just explaining. But it's a good performance. Who's up next? Norwich City. Well there's only two people watching, I might just stop now. But yeah, that's good. That's one would say one person would say cheers for that. Yeah, I think I'll stop right there. That was nice, as one says. I think we did well tonight. Did very well tonight. Um, and, uh, well, seventh in the table. Nice. Everyone's playing well at the moment. I can't complain. So the Brexit team so far are doing well. Gains to come back to Norwich, Chelsea, and Leicester City. So three good games for us to look look out for. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the Brexit team, how they've done so far. Always love to see your comments in the comment section. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hope you've enjoyed the stream, and we'll see you tomorrow.